city of Southern Mississippi located here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and it's time for more Sunbelt Comp. Flip-flop back and forth, but he'll get he'll get a first shot at it tonight. It is zone read. He keeps it himself on the third play of in this conference are familiar defending. And here he is Callaway's first carry. And you see him get outside the 30. He is chopped down off the field for the Golden Eagle defense. Dime package and a give to Callaway. They'll stay on the ground. A first down for Old Dominion. Really known passing down coming here. This is where they have struggled. And the Golden Eagles get there. A big time play from in the middle of the you could possibly knock to his resume at this point. It is a handoff to Frank Gore Jr. on the first play. He heads all the way out to the 50. Don't see this much empty set either. Wiles going up top. Got a man. Casting. Can't hang on. on he gets another shot at him. Shields deep in his end zone. A give to Kadarius Callaway. You better look out. Jay Stanley going to have to bump him out of. Both of these teams can do a much better job in the penalty category. It is a trips formation to the top of the formation. A pass thrown just behind Ty Mims. He settles nicely. Picks and play man. Somebody's got to win for Southern. It's Ty Mims who wins Austin, and he goes down inside. The 30 still fighting with effort. Sure did. Ty Mims with a big reception of 31 yards. And a pass completion to Jakari is casting inside the 10. Summerall, Mississippi called Daniels, the nose guard, with that infraction. Billy Wiles spins it to the back corner. Jakari is casting was the intended target. Play tight, get underneath, calls that pass to sell a little bit high. Andrew Stein's 21-yard field goal. Now causing difficult for the Monarchs to move the ball. Jack Shields now being flushed from the pocket, being chased from behind. He's got speed. It'll be swift. He'll motion Callaway out. Screen pass coming. It is complete. And going backwards is Jordan Bly. Sniff, he can do so. He is like a second coach on the field. Ty Mims on the run. This is danger. Out across the 50. Ty Mims. Touchdown. Austin, the last four games, here you see Mims on the catch off. Just aggressive. And that's a guy going and making a play. Not letting it mind, you know, it's a tough position to be in, but he's got to find his rhythm and he needs to find it quickly. Southern Miss chooses no pressure. Look at this, a deep ball connection to Kelby Williams. It is Jace 33 in red zone attempts. Grant Wilson, a give straight ahead Here out of South Carolina. Great answer by the Monarch. The break with another look at that Keyshawn Wicks touchdown. Wiles is going to Cavallo. Did he make that catch? He Much appreciated by Billy Wiles, I'm sure. They're going to reward him with a carry. He's going to reward him with a nice run out to the. Wiles, a long cadence. He's going to go right back to Dreek Clark, who's going to push motions across the formation. Wiles loading up, now going to take off. It's what Billy Wiles can do, he'll get inside. Back on the quarterback, it's disrupt him and his rhythm. Ty Mims on the run again, darting around. Holding on, he's looking for his second of the night. Down. Uh, his hands kind of came up, but there's no. I don't think there was any clear motion of whether he wanted to. I think fair he was just trying to balance himself. It'll be first down. Yeah, we're being told out of the replay booth, any hand waving at all is being indicated as a fair catch signal. Billy Wiles spins one to look. Negated touchdown for Southern Miss on that second punt return. 78 of those yards came on that one pass play to Kelby Williams of the 145. Um, and, that, and that really what makes this run game go. You see Wicks kind of just bull his way forward, a heavy dose on the play. One as they snap it. 
Kadarius Callaway looking to turn the corner. He has. Delivers the she moves. Third down and eight. Golden Eagles trying to get to Grant Wilson. He avoids Josh Carr, but he doesn't get away from eight. Split to the left. Play action, looking deep. Wiles gets out of the pocket, but he's going down. Running him down. How they score it. Wiles got it off to Frank Gore Jr. Evaluating quarterbacks coming into the draft, and we would always have a section called ball player. Just utilized defensively. Wiles, slant pattern. Jacarius Caston's got it. Ty Mims trying to get outside and came. 31 yard attempt for Andrew Stein. And it's good. Southern Miss has made two trips in. Boozman, the linebacker, bouncing out to the top side. Pressure in Wilson's face. Hit as he throws. Kadarius Callaway makes a man miss. That lane set to punt it away. Ty Mims just made a mistake. A sick Mario Easterly had the recovery. It splits. Make you think run. They're looking to the wheel. Wilson stepping up in the pocket. He's going down. Another go back. Gonna come down. I've been impressed with it. I've really never seen it before. And it's been very effective. Third and long. The pass is Alabama as a freshman. Recognize he was not ready for big time college football as Grant Wilson drops a dime. It is looking for their third conversion. They've got it complete to Isaiah Page football. Yeah, that was a good rip. They had good leverage on the floor on the out route from the slot. Gonna Another try it ball. again, going right back to the well. This one is run outside the red zone. Wilson under pressure, avoids one sack, but not another. Ethan Sanchez is on four of six in field goals this season, and he's true here. Back for Southern Miss. Frank Gore Jr. fixing to try to make something happen against a Monarch defense, take advantage with his legs. They're going to use Grant Wilson here. He will slide forward to the 40. Quick decision. Looking to go up top. Is that caught? It sure is. My His ability to throw the deep ball. He's 7 of 16. He's not just lighting it up, but he's been efficient when he's done it. Keyshawn wicks into the end. An extra point away. Or check that back. Now 16-13. Trust that vertical game, and Keyshawn Wicks gets in for the score. <laughs> Casting completes the reception. Davis Dalton is in for his first action of the season. They're targeting him. He's a big target with the reception down to the 40. Wiles, again, right to Davis Dalton. Down up 17 to 13. Frank Gore Jr. getting to the outside and inside the 30-yard line. Nice job in the past game, and he's been a key contributor tonight. Clark made a man miss. And this is the down, the second down is so critical. Wiles gonna take off. Wiles to the five tonight of 10 plus plays. This is 11th play of this drive. Going inside, trying to go to Taekwon. They feel pressure coming from the right side. It is a give to Frank Gore Jr. Who's gonna get down. ODU defensive line thought that was motion. It is Clark. Stopped at the two. Used a couple of years ago. 
Frank Gore Jr., did he get in or did Jason Henderson make the stop? He played a heck of a ball game tonight. Wilson, he's going up top as he should, the way he throws the ball. This Man-to-man -man coverage. Wilson drops it off to Keyshawn Wicks. Wicks trying to get across the 11. Monarchs go to Wicks. He bounces back out of the pile. Wicks is trying to make. And boy, we have an ugly scene happening in Hattiesburg. They're trying to get the team separated. But good job by Coach Hall and some of the staff members just kind of getting in there and taking it. Taking it. Thank you for the information. I'm Jason Baker. We thank our production team and Lee Field, our producer, the best in the business watching Sunbelt Conference football on ESPN.